Okay, let's take a look at the next must-have Fuji lens. All right, so that would be the Fuji 56 millimeter f 1.2. Uh, this lens is made in Japan. Currently, it's on sale for $800. Normally, it's a thousand dollars. It comes with a, a plastic lens hood, but the lens itself uh, is all metal. Uh, it has a wire, by wire uh, aperture ring means it actually is not directly connected to the aperture, rather feeds the information to the aperture. Here we have A for automatic, F16, down to F1.2, and uh, goes in uh, one-third stop uh, increments on the aperture ring. Uh, all anodized uh, aluminum and uh, laser engraving. Um, 11 elements and 8 groups. Obviously, as is typical for what this would be, a 35mm equivalent of an 85mm portraiture lens, there is both no and no need for optical image stabilization on this lens. A 62mm front filter. It is rather heavy. It is 14.2 ounces. Said is all metal, made in Japan. This is uh, Fujifilm's best X mount lens that they make. Now, actually, this is also, most people think of a street lens in terms of like a 28mm, 35 but uh, a 50 up through an 85mm equivalent is also a street lens. Now, when you say street, you're not exactly talking, uh, you know, uh, arm's length distance uh, street portraiture, but I mean, talking across the street, I mean, this still is a valid street lens. I've actually uh, often uh, used uh, up to 100 millimeters as a candid street lens. Um, not being extremely close to your subject so that you don't startle them is uh, advantageous. This is Fuji's uh, best lens. It is exquisite. XF EBC. Um, once again, uh, EBC is just Fuji's uh, way of saying uh, nano crystal uh, vacuum deposited crystalline coating for maximum light transmissions and anti-reflective coating. It is extremely fast lens at f1.2. Um, why is this necessarily? I'm only including, and I said I've tested all Fuji lenses except for two lenses. One of which. Uh, was the uh, 16 millimeter and the other two lenses were the 50 to 230 and the 55 to 200 so my experience with Fuji lenses is essentially complete I certainly did not buy this platform perhaps unlike other people uh, as a telephoto uh, as a telephoto uh, uh, kit um, however I will acquire a couple in the future, but why am I including this as part of a five lens series uh, must purchase? Uh, one of which I've already reviewed uh, yesterday, that was the uh, Fuji Film 10 to 24 um, wide zoom, um, absolutely exquisite lens, most certainly a must own. Now, of the five lenses, can I actually say that this is the lowest on the totem pole of the five that I recommend as quote unquote must have. That may be the case. However, I objectively can't say that that's necessarily the case because this is both an exquisite portrait lens. It has absolutely magnificent bokeh. A seven bladed rounded aperture. has beautiful sun stars. It has almost no vignetting at all exquisite portrait lens, beautiful all-around uh, far-end street lens. By far-end, I mean the very far end of a, of, a, of a street lens, street portraiture lens, which to me reaches between 85 millimeters up at the very, very far end at 100 millimeters equivalent. Now, this is an 85 millimeter roughly equivalent uh, FX or 35 millimeter lens at uh, 56 millimeters with a 1.5 APS-C crop sensor factor. Um, right now at $800, $200 off, I would consider this a must-buy. Would I still buy this lens at its non-sale price of $1,000? I would. What issues does this lens have? Well, let's first talk about the issues that it doesn't have. It has uh, no color fringing, essentially no color fringing. It has essentially no vignetting at all. It's exquisitely sharp. It has incredible creamy bokeh. The one negative that I can say that it has, it is indicative 
of lenses like this that have a couple ED elements in it and uh, additionally more than eight or nine elements and this has eleven elements in eight groups is that it does have a very slight cyan shift which is very very reminiscent of the uh, of the uh, 35 millimeter f1.4 Zeiss and uh, very reminiscent of the uh, cyan shifted uh, Sigma Art series lenses. Of course this is superior in manufacture in every way to Sigma Art so I'm not comparing it to Sigma rather the cyan shift that is present in it as part of its lens construction with 11 elements. That can easily be removed in Lightroom or Photoshop or whatever photo editing program you use. Some people actually like that cyan shift I am subjectively not keen to it because I know that it is a natural byproduct of the nature of the elimination of vignetting and chromatic aberration indicative to this lens because it has a good deal of glass into it in its construction. However, it is exquisite. Now this is not rubber knurling by the way. This is actually all CNC anodized aluminum unlike the 10 to 24 that I showed you yesterday as a part one lens number one of uh, five as far as my must own recommended uh, Fuji set of lenses. Um, uh, other than the very slight cyan shift which I really cannot uh, really cannot fault it for the actual uh, friction resistance for manual focus use if you were to use this in manual focus which I'm you know I'm deeply ingrained in maybe it's because I'm old it is absolutely exquisite it is perfect um, I would call this only second to a Zeiss planar 85 millimeter so far as the exquisite manual focus experience. The one third stops on uh, the by wire aperture ring on this are exquisite. You bring it all the way to A here uh, for automatic. Laser engraving made in Japan, all anodized aluminum. The rear element is sealed. This lens uh, is not a dust sucker. Uh, this is Fuji's finest and the fastest lens and at 56 millimeters at f1.2 you are going to have to have some professional skills either that or throw your camera in continuous high and uh, shoot a burst because uh, what you won't read is that at f1.2 your uh, depth of field is razor thin and uh, one trick to uh, getting your shot is uh, shooting a, a continuous high burst uh, and pulling out or extracting one of those shots where you've actually nailed it uh, off tripod that is um, I really cannot fault this lens uh, it is worth every bit of the $800 uh, current sale price that it cost um, I was privileged enough to use it last month and I knew immediately upon using it for only a couple hours I used it all day that uh, I must own this lens. I was actually skeptical at first since it had 11 elements in 8 groups. I knew it would have a slight cyan shift to it. Um, but this lens is exquisitely sharp. It's beautiful. The bokeh on it is creamy. It is dreamy. It is uh, really is a must have uh, Fuji lens. If you plan on doing any portraiture or any uh, gorgeous uh, far in tele uh, street work um, or any one of a number of other things this lens really is a must have um, the bouquet on this is really exquisite uh, the IQ is exquisite the lack of vignetting is exquisite it is right up at the top on a scale of 1 to 10 uh, the lack of color fringing the lack of uh, of uh, chromatic aberration on this lens is exquisite. Fuji did really nail it out of the park and I'm not saying that lightly because I am highly critical of lenses. Uh, the manufacturer on this lens is absolutely second to none. The only lens that I could actually say that is actually uh, tougher and uh, more precise in build and there's nothing I can quantify as it being tougher other than the actual durability of the casing and you're not using any lens to hammer nails would be a Zeiss Planar or Distagon lens um, although this is also within that price range so anyway that sums it up at 14.2 ounces and uh, it really rates very much so at the top of the scale at uh, any critical criteria that I could possibly fault against this lens like I said only one slight fault and that is the cyan shift on this lens as is typical of a lens like this with this much glass in it um, 
Nevertheless, I purchased this with my own money. I'm not borrowing this, and I'm not being paid to shill for Fuji, nor am I sponsored by anybody. I can give this my highest recommendation, and on a scale of 1 to 10, I can unquestionably give this a 9.5. Um, as far as the entire Fuji uh, film uh, lens scale, I have to give it a 10 out of 10, because it certainly is their best. But objectively so, upon all criteria is measured against my vast experience with other lenses, including uh, Zeiss and Voigtlander and Nikkors and others, uh, this lens really does rate uh, a solid 9 or 9.5 out of 10. It is absolutely exquisite. It is not a lens that you will regret purchasing. Anyway, thank you for watching. That is lens number 2 out of 5 uh, must-own Fuji uh, X-series lenses. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.